In this video I'm going to make a start on the crankshaft I'll begin with the crank webs So I've got some inch diameter stainless steel I'm going to use for the crank webs This is 431 stainless So for old timer Brits that's AN57T it's quite tough, it's a high tensile stainless steel but it's nice to machine and it's a nice job to do on the shaper I've gone ahead and surface ground to the correct width and thickness. Now it's off to the mill to drill some holes.
So these holes have now been drilled 9 millimeters, and they'll be reamed to 10 millimeters. But I want to get it up to about 9.8 diameter, and I also want to true up the bore of the hole. There's no guarantee that the drill hasn't worn it from its true position. So I've made up a little tool, and I've set the cutter position so that it should cut a radius that will give me a diameter of approximately 9.8 millimeters. So we'll give that a go. Point six seven. that's good. I don't think I'm going to bother to ream those holes to 10 millimeters. I think I'll just leave them at that and make the other parts to suit. They've got a lovely uh, smooth bow. Yeah, happy with that. What I had done was to tack weld these two bars on each end together to keep them together. All I have to do is cut these bars in half and then I've got two matched pairs of webs. The next process we need to do is to machine a radius on the ends of each web. So we'll make a little uh, fixture to do that. There are two options for the radius. Option A with the radius from the center of the web or option B with the radius from the whole center. I'll go with A. Okay so I've made up this uh, little fixture so it's obviously got a couple of bolts through to hold the cranks. I've cut them in half from the bandsaw by the way. I did try and film it but I forgot to turn on the camera. Um, so I've got a bush here which engages with the hole on one side and it's got a groove which is the width of the webs so that just goes on and engages with the bush slight bit of player there put on some washers and nuts Okay, so there's a bit of intermittent cutting here. Make sure everything's nice and tight. Actually, I think I'll move that a bit.
Ah, the weld's a bit hard. And that's the edge of the tool gone. So I'll go and grind that off. It's hot. So I've ground that weld back a bit. This tool needs sharpening. But I think we'll try a carbide. See if it stands up, it might break. Okay. Take some small cuts. It's a point three cut. So I'm looking for forty two point eight. 42.85 I think we'll leave it there, that's two fell over, it's no problem So the carbide tip stood up very well, it hasn't chipped or anything, so that's good. Lovely. So these are a matched pair now, so we need to keep them together. Um, Keep these two faces together and keep the orientation the same. Not that it should make any difference, but you never know. Well, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed the shape of shots. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Hmm, maybe I should have gone with option B. Thanks for watching, see you next time.